Caravanserai, a roadside inn where cultures meet by Alexandra. The caravanserais of the Silk Road were inns where traveling traders stopped to lodge and replenish their food and water before continuing their journey of trading along the Silk Road. Caravanserais were located along and near the Silk Road. Many caravanserais were in Dunhuang, Turpan, Bukhara, Merv, Kashgar, and Samarkand. Traveling traders who were trading their goods along the Silk Road stopped to stay in the caravanserais with their caravans. These traders included some famous traders, Marco Polo, Ferro Doric, Jabe D'Ancuna, and Ibn Battuta. However, the caravanserai guests were typically traders, Sogdian merchants, peddlers, pilgrims, soldiers, guides, Buddhist monks, and their caravans of camels, horses, and donkeys. The caravanserais were huge, square or rectangular inns with tall, wide stone walls built around the perimeter. There was a chained guarded gate to protect the travelers along with their goods and caravans. The caravan strides were where traveling traders stopped to lodge, sleep, relax, eat, drink, store goods, trade, exchange opinions and religious concepts, and nourish their caravans. People who stayed at the caravan strides enjoyed music, poetry, reading, prayers, other performances, trading, and sharing news and religious views. Because of this exchange of culture in the caravanserais, the caravanserais were known as information highways. There was a large open stone courtyard in the center of a two-story caravanserai. It was used to feed and water camels and other animals. The top floor of the caravanserais were for lodging, and the bottom floor was for storing goods. Caravanserais along the Silk Road were in use between about 600 and 1200 Common Era. The travelers stopped at the caravanserais when they had had a long day of travel and needed to rest, eat, drink, and reload on supplies. Caravanserais were located in oasis cities along the Silk Road where there was a supply of fresh water and good agriculture. The caravanserais were built outside the walls of a city or village. The entire inn served, fed, protected, and provided for the travelers and their caravans. The caravanserais supplied fresh water because they were near an oasis where fresh water came from underground and good agriculture was nearby. The caravanserai rooms were suitable for resting and sleeping. The courtyard was suitable for taking care of caravan animals. The downstairs of the inn was suitable for storing trading goods. And the halls and larger rooms were suitable for performances, meetings, tradings, and other activities. Caravanserais and their caravanserai workers provided for and protected the travelers and their animals along the Silk Road because the travelers and their caravans may have died with lack of shelter, food, and water. Their trading journey along the Silk Road may have included traveling through harsh deserts and mountains, and lack of nutrients would cause more than exhaustion after a long period of time journeying. The caravanserais not only provided comfort and rest, but food, water, and other things people needed to survive.